Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed, and today we're going to make a fun little farmhouse style uh, mini jar vase planter thing. <laughs> so I've had these bottles. Um, I actually got these from a farmer's market, and in there it had essential oils. And I love, I mean, I've Obviously, I've gone through quite a few of them, and they were great. It's made by a local lady. And I've cleaned them out. Um, I really made sure that I cleaned all the oils out. I got the label off. That was really simple. Washed it with soap and water. Put some rubbing alcohol in them to make sure I got all of the oil residue out of it. And just to show the difference, so these two I have already etched, um, and this one I haven't. I just want to show you the difference between them. Look how striking, right? Because this is a whole farmhouse style kind of a vibe, I love the look of like the weathered glass, like it's been tumbled in the ocean or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and etch this. So all I have right here is I have the etch all dip and etch liquid and I put some in just like an old yogurt container. I poured some in there and then you just plop it in. It's as simple as that. I'm gonna make sure that it gets fully submerged. Oh, there it goes, goes all the way in. And it's just going to rest in there. Super, super simple. These ones have already been done, so I don't need to worry about that. It needs to sit for about 15 minutes, but you know what? I'm going to go out and mow the lawn, let it sit while I mow the lawn, and when I come back, it'll be ready to go. You could even let it sit overnight. It's not a big deal. These guys, I actually let sit for two hours because I went and worked out and came back, and they are fabulous. Look at them. I love the fact that it was cool. Um, the key thing to think about also when you're doing um, any kind of colored glass is you want to make sure the glass has not been painted, that the glass itself is the color. So this was green glass. Like there's brown glass, green glass, blue glass, white glass, clear. Um, you want to make sure that it's already that specific color and not just painted on. So because this was a natural green glass, I was good to go, and that's why they etch beautifully. So I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to go move the lawn, and I'll come back, and I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so this is sat for or oh, a better part of a couple hours, which is absolutely fine. You can let them sit longer. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this container over. I'm going to pull out the jar that's sitting in here, and all of this liquid I'm going to be putting back inside my etch-all because this is reusable. This is fantastic. So this large container will be used over and over and over, which rocks. I absolutely love the look of the etch glass when it comes out. It just looks like it's weathered and tumbled, and it looks perfect for like this farmhouse style kind of craft we're going for. All right, what I have right here is I have a piece of pecan that was actually from my husband's shop. He does a lot of woodworking. And what I am going to do is what I already did is we cut it down to be a little bit bigger than a four by six. And I'm going to measure this real fast. This is like an eight by, I think an eight by five. What I basically did is I put the little, my pieces on here. And I was like, okay, well, does that look good? Does that fit? Are they about the right size? Does that work? And I was like, yeah, it does. I then went in and I laid these down just the way I did and I marked holes right here and then we drilled through to make a hole that would drill all the way through. And I don't have to do this part, but it's mostly just an aesthetic. It's what I, I like the look of it. I want to add a little bit of this beautiful jute twine to my little bottles as kind of a decorative piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my glue. I picked this glue because this is a waterproof glue and we're going to be using them as little vases. Um, it also has a fast grab. It's strong. It's versatile. Um, if it gets wet, it's not going to be a problem. And it is just amazing. So this is from Super Tight and it's just called Multi Grab 360 Glue. Um, link down below for all the supplies that we're going to be using. So don't forget to head over to Etch All, find out where you can find that. And then also for Super Tight, and there is a coupon down below for Super Tight for 10% off. Um, and also there's going to be some free shipping if you order five bucks or more. And the prices for the glues are amazing. And they're really eco friendly, which I love that. All we're going to do first is I'm going to take a little bit of some of this jute twine and I'm going to add a little bit of the glue right up here just right up here at the top I'm just gonna wind the glue around I just want to have a clean finish the top so I'm just gonna take my decide what my back side of my jar is gonna be I think it's gonna be the back right here just take the back start it and then just wind it around just a couple of times I don't need to be I don't want this to look perfect I don't want this to be Oh, it has to look so pristine or something. That's not the look I'm going for. The look I'm going for is rustic, farmhouse. You know, we've got, you know, kind of tumbled glass, like if it's sitting out in the weather for a while. You know, we've got a piece of raw wood. I'm just coming in and snipping off the end here. And, you know, so just it's very farmhouse, barn house, that kind of a thing. That's kind of what we're going for. So there's that one. See, easy as that. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other two.
All right, so now that I've got the tops of my little bottles are sticking on there, I love the look of them. I've decided what I'm going to call the front of my little jars. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a section of the twine again. So this is another layer being added into, I've got to find the end, into this whole design. I'm going to get a piece, and I'm going to start off actually with not even putting the jar on there and just poking the twine through the hole. Now, this piece of wood is raw. There's nothing on it. It's not been treated. So I got to get nice and tight kind of through the whole uh, frame. It's not been treated. You could stain a piece of wood, but I love the look of the raw. To me, that just kind of it looks neat. It looks fun. It's got some cool dimension. And this is not a piece that's going to be going outside. It could. But um, me personally, it's an indoor piece where I can take a couple of the cute flowers that are growing in my backyard and pop them in my little jars. My daughter always comes to me and she finds the cutest little flowers. So I'm just poking this through. I'm just worming this through. That's all I'm doing. Just kind of give it. And I've grabbed way too much twine, but that's okay. I'm actually going to, I can get two of these now because all I need is enough. Actually, I cut that too short. Oh no, I think I might have enough. You don't want to make it too long. Anyway, my daughter goes outside, especially in the spring, and we have a massive garden. I actually have a couple videos in my playlist of my garden, the things I plant and what I grow. And so with that comes flowers. And so she'll go outside and she'll bring me little daisies or, you know, some of the other random flowers or some of our roses. And they're just little things that she's found in the ground or that are, you know, on her bushes or something. And I never have anything really to put it in. I don't want to, I, they're, she's picked them so short that I have a hard time finding a vase small enough that will fit it. So that's kind of where this idea came from because I love the idea. There we go. See, now it's got this here, got two pieces here. I love the idea of being able to take what she has found and um, have a place for it to go. Okay. I'm very gingerly going to be pulling this out far enough. And I did kind of cut this too short and pull this in. And I'm going to be just resting at the bottom. Could I completely just glue this jar to the board without having to do the rope? Yes. I just love the look of it. To me, this is just a design. It's an aesthetic thing. So I'm going to do each one individually. I'm going to take a little dab of glue, go up the top of this. This has something to hold to. So it's not the rope. It's actually the glue doing all the work. So I'm just going to be sticking this on here. And then I'm going to pull this tight to where I want it. I want to make sure that, you know, it's my bottle is where I want it to be. I could have also done the same thing for the top, but I just, the glue is really going to be doing all the work here and holding everything to the, the board. Okay, flip this over very gingerly. And yep, I cut my strings way too short, but we're going to let the back side be the glue as well. So we're going to glue this because I usually, for future ones, I am going to uh, make sure that I don't cut these too short and therefore I don't have to necessarily this step. I'm probably still going to do this step on the for the other ones, but um, for the future bottles, I will make sure that my, like this is going to be, actually that will probably be the right length. I will make sure that they're long enough so that I can actually tie a knot and then I will glue it to keep it nice and secure. So that's what I'm going to do from here on out. I'm just going to poke my string through the hole. So back to what I was saying with the board, if you wanted to, you could easily stain your board. You could just go and get a piece of pine wood. It wouldn't even have to be a natural cut anything. We just happen to have this piece in our garage. My husband does a ton of woodworking. I keep trying to convince him he needs to do a YouTube channel, but he doesn't want to. <laughs> So for now, I'll just, when I have a special request of things I want from him, he'll make them for me. <laughs> and then I show off the fun things. This was not anything he specifically made. I mean, he helped me cut it and then I kind of lined up and he helped me drill the holes. But I just love the, the natural look of the wood up here. It just looks so cool. But you could stain this. You could varnish this. You could do whatever with it. But I just like the rawness of it. Very, very natural looking. You know, like straight from the earth kind of a thing. That's what I was going for. Okay, so this one I think I'm going to be able to do correctly, and I didn't shortchange myself on the length of my twine here. If you don't have a pokey tool like this, you could easily use, I mean, there's all kinds of things. You could get a small thumbtack, you could get a needle, you could use a toothpick, anything that would help you just kind of worm your twine through. You could also use colored twine, all kinds of options. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up these last two, glue them down, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done.
So at this point, the glue's got a little bit, it hasn't fully, fully set in there yet. So you can still kind of wiggle them around, make sure that your jars are right at the right height. I'm making sure that the rope is kind of hitting across the bottom. It's the one thing that I'm kind of making sure looks kind of in line exact because the board's not a perfect rectangle. It's got some uneven lines. The top is all jagged. I, you know, I didn't wind these twines, but these three things, I want them to look good. It just kind of, to the eye, it looks really cool. So all you need to do now, and it's still drying, so just gotta be careful, is I really made sure that I put the glue on there good and I sealed it so it's all nice and there firm, is just put a little thing on the back here just to kind of tack it in and that way you can hang this on the wall. Again, if you wanna seal this whole thing, you are more than welcome to do so. I just personally chose not to. And then all you have to do is just pour a little bit of water and put your fun flowers in there, which I will get some pictures of the flowers that my daughter's gonna pick out for me today. Thanks so much for stopping by, don't forget to subscribe. All links are down below and don't forget something fast and easy and cute and upcycled is always fun and think a little differently about how you use your objects. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.